welcome back to the tenth episode of uh, a pacifist in oblivion. Uh, we've gone to the Imperial City as we were told to do by Joffrey in the previous episode, uh, but. Uh, we've decided not to talk to Boris the Blade, at least not yet, and the reason for that is that our character, the pacifist, uh, while he definitely sympathizes with the goals of the Blades, he is a little disillusioned with their methods right now. Um, after the previous episode, where, in case you didn't see it, uh, he magically calmed down a bunch of assassins, uh, only to, to see Martin and the Blade attacking these assassins uh, anyway, uh, which broke the calm spell and basically caused a bloodbath. So, um, our character has been in the city shopping a bit instead, and um, thinking also, and uh, uh, exploring. And one of the things he's found is all these uh, crates and stuff, which apparently. Uh, don't belong to anyone, um, which is a bit strange because there are all sorts of uh, stores uh, around here, so I uh, don't know why they keep all their storage crates don't belong to anyone. Maybe it's just sort of um, leftover wares or, or, or junk um, that they've thrown out or something, but it seems to be up for grabs. So I uh, looked around them a bit. And oh, some. Well, I'll pick up some nice burgundy linens, for example. Yeah. Shopping. And also he's been sort of thinking, um, thinking about sort of what to do with his life and his uh, freedom. So he's decided that uh, with, you know, the Emperor's heir temporarily safe at Clarerola Temple and with uh, Daedra at, at Quach uh, at least cut off from getting any more reinforcements from Oblivion, he's decided to take a little break and, and try to do something uh, hopefully a bit less violent. Um, so, what he wants to do uh, is to join a guild. Um, obviously there are a lot of guilds um, in this game that uh, this character would not um, join at all. Like, I mean, he would definitely not join the Assassin's Guild, obviously. Uh, not the Fighter's Guild, either. Because um, he doesn't like to fight unless he can... Uh, avoid it at least. So, um, what he wants to do, uh, being a sort of spell cast the type, he wants to join the Mages Guild. But his real ambition, of course, is to be able to get into the uh, Arcane University here in the Imperial City. But, um, that's closed to people who aren't yet members of the Mages Guild. So, um, his first stop is going to be the city of Breville. Where there's also a major guild. There are major guild uh, chapters in basically every city in Cyrodiil. Bravel has a lot of people who are good at sneaking, basically. It's not the richest town in uh, the Imperial Province. And it's got a lot of people at the major guild who are good at illusion spells. Which is perfect for this character, because that's where you get your calm and your demoralized spells to frighten enemies off, or, or also your your um, your invisibility or chameleon spells to sneak, um, which is also good uh, if you can avoid combat. So let's just see if there's uh, somebody in that I can talk to. It seems kind of deserted this place, it may have something to do with the time, it's sort of middle of the night I think. So uh, maybe we'll have to wait around for a while. So Excuse let's see, me, here we go. Arieri. Your friendly guild alchemist. Okay, so what can, you tell about, what can you tell me about the guild? You want to join? Well, then either you'll need to find Could I here in town or go seek out one of the other local guild hall leaders. All right, Could I? Goodbye. Could I? Could I join? Could I? Oh, Hello. That's her. I don't suppose you could help me locate my friend Henantir, could you? Okay, um, your friend's missing, apparently. Well, that's... Okay. Right, well, that's cool, but I was really here thinking of joining the Mages Guild. Well, no bounty on your head, and you look able enough. Very well. Are you sure you want to join the Guild? Uh, yeah. I want to join. Then, 
I declare you to now be an associate of the Mages Guild. Thanks. You'll need to acquire recommendations from all the local guild hall leaders to advance further in the guild. If they're smart, they'll take the opportunity to have you perform a small service for them. We right. have a responsibility to look after one another, don't we? Right, so if I want to get into the Arcane University... The Council of Mages meets there in the Imperial City. If you do what you need to, you'll get there one day. Right, because that is what will let me make my own spells, for example, which is extremely useful. All right. Well, you're very, very worried about I this. I miss so. Guy, so maybe I'll... We were study mates at the Arcane University, and we've come to grow fond of each other. He's always getting himself into jams with the careless ways he performs his experiments. I'm going to level with you as you seem like you wish to help. Henandir isn't missing. On the contrary, I know exactly where he is. Well, Henandir's been warned that if he strays outside the guild rules one more time, he may be up for summary dismissal. The rules say that he isn't to practice dangerous experiments at his home. It must be done in the guild under the watchful eye of an associate. Henantir's never been one for rules, and so he's continued to perform his latest experiments in secret. Great. Whatever suits you and gets me Henantir back, when you're ready to go and see him, let me know. Are you ready to follow me to Henantir? Fantastic. Let's be off then. Okay. Doing good deeds. It's a worthy moral objective, I guess. And I wonder what's trapped this guy, though. Hope it's something that a pacifist can fix without having to kill a lot of people. I hope it's not people living trapped in. Um, also, I hope I don't have to fight anything else besides people that's too difficult because I'm, well, not very good at that sort of thing. Well, as you can see, Henantir's right here, and he's trapped in his dream world. I told him that trying to travel into one's own dreams is risky. Henantir constructed a magical device he called the Dream World Amulet. True, but this is different. When you enter your dreams with the amulet, you're in full command of a dreamlike replica of yourself. All your thoughts, your skills, and your talents travel there with you. Henantir created the amulet to see if he could use his dreams as a training ground. I don't know all of the details. It's been three days, and he's been stuck in his dreams. The only way to save him is to put on the dream world amulet and go to sleep. I fear that anyone he knows won't be able to help him in there. Since I'm in his memories, he may dismiss me as a figment of his dreams. The only chance is for a total stranger to... When you're ready to do this, I'll give you the amulet. My poor Henandir. Don't take this social and lightly. The recesses of the mind can be the darkest place of all. Are you prepared to enter the dream world? Please, use the extra bed here. If you sleep too far from Hen and Deer, it may not work. I'll watch over you both to make sure you're safe. Oh my, I almost forgot. Hen and Deer once told me that if he's killed in his dreams, anyone that's in there with him will die as well. So do be careful.
You'll have to be very careful in there. Now is the time for sleep. How I wish I could go with you. It's so difficult to be... Oh yeah. I've got to put on the amulet for this to work, obviously. Also, I'm carrying all sorts of junk. Let's see, what's the junk I don't need? The linens... Might need these, I guess. All sorts of other stuff I haven't picked up. Oh, the Mater's Guild Charter, well that's all very well, but I don't need to carry around. I'd like to have a couple of repair hammers. I guess I need to fix something. Surely I don't need all this rat meat. And that means I can get rid of the Sinkhorn Cap. Lettuce. Don't think I'll need this either. I might pick up something in the remote, who knows. I mean, probably not something I can really bring back, but be fun to try anyway. Okay, so here goes. Dream World Amulet on. Sleep. The magic and belongings no longer exist. Oh really? My word. You spoke of me. Are you real? I am real, sure. And naked, apparently, but... I've lost my way. This place looks so familiar, but I can't remember how I got here. This place is so strange. Dream world, you say? It's more like a nightmare. There must be an exit around here somewhere. How could I be so careless? I know I've lost something. Yes, that's it. I, I've lost many things in this strange place. So, okay. Have you found an egg? Okay, looking for things and exit, maybe. I've got this. No, no spells work right now. Sneaking should work. Just in case something's up to get me. Well, there's a portal in there. Bed in there. Oh, I don't need to sneak right now, though. So. Okay, I'm exploring, I guess. Supposed to be a test of courage, is it? Alright. Well then. Ah! Right, I'm supposed to swim through this thing, apparently. Um. Okay. There it goes. There's a bit of a test of courage, you'd have to admit. I may need to use this. So I can actually... That's very well, but what am I supposed to do down here, then, anyway? Ooh, supposed to go even further in, am I? Right. I got through this, so... There's an element of courage. 
damage. Oh, cool. 